I'm here with a video for you. So I'm really not one to do reaction videos, but there is a song out. It just came out a few days ago. It's by an artist named J-Hope, who's Korean, and another girl named Becky. The name of the song is called Chicken Noodle Soup. And if that sounds familiar, that's because it should. The original artists are DJ Webstar and Bianca Bonnie from Harlem. I already feel a little connected to everything that's happening right now because I'm from New York and I remember this song back, you know, in 2005, 2006 or whatever. And I don't consider myself a Korea boo, which is, you know, these people that just go crazy about Korea and love everything about Korea. And I don't consider myself a K-pop stan. Most of the videos that I've seen, I would say they fall within one of those two groups. So since I'm not, I figured it would be interesting if I give my take on what I thought of the song. So I'm going to start with all of the positive things first. The first thing is that they look like they had so much fun making this video from like beginning to end. You can just tell that everybody was really enjoying themselves. Everyone was in it, especially that last clip at the end where everyone's just like dancing and having a good time. Like I like getting behind the scenes clips like that. Um, it just makes you realize just how much fun everyone is having with putting together this video for all of us to enjoy. The second positive thing is that it really amazes me how influential black culture is to literally every part of the world. We have always had less than every other nation, every other group of people, but somehow we've managed to create things with what we have. Yet to have everyone else inspired by what we've created despite having such a disadvantage, it's like a good feeling. It just really makes me wonder how much more we can do if we were on the same playing field with everyone else. So the other thing that I like was um, royalty was actually paid to the original artist. And I know that might not even be a big thing because it's like, okay, well, the legalities of the situation, you would have to. But, you know, there's been plenty of Korean artists, groups that have sampled and you be listening to a song and think to yourself, oh, this sounds like something else. And that's because it is. And there's been no recognition or acknowledgement of where the song was originally sampled so to know that they've actually went through the proper steps to make things right was comforting to me because i know that they are being compensated for the original work that they created all right so those were the positives and now for the negatives well i don't want to call them negatives more so just like dislikes that i personally have with the video i have three basic things for my dislikes of the video um but the first thing I want to say is not included in those things. It's just a genuine, like, reaction to it. And that's like, I just thought the thing was corny. Like, the whole video was corny. I was like, this is what we can hype over in 2019? 2019. Like, the beat was corny. Like, I understand them changing it around to make it a little, you know, to get creative with it. But I just was not into it. It was kind of cool with them trying to incorporate different languages. You had a little bit of English. You had Korean, of course. You had some Spanish. But it just was not good. The whole thing just looks corny. If there's like a Korean kid pop thing, I can see it. Like, you know how we had the, the kid bop here in the States or something like that? If there was like a Korean version of that and that's for kids and I can be like, oh, okay, I can see why, you know, everyone's liking it. You know, these kids are enjoying, they like that kind of stuff. But these are like adults like me who think this is like awesome. So I just could not get with that. Now on to the, the more technical things. Number one, I remember being a teacher in South Korea and you know, my students, they would come share music with me, songs for me, and tell me about their favorite um, boy bands and girl groups and all of this stuff. And some of the music that they would play for me, they would be very reminiscent of songs that I knew, and I just couldn't quite put my finger on. And then I realized, oh, this is a sample or this is a remake of such and such songs. And my students really couldn't believe that that was true, even when presented the information. 
And it was really interesting, especially when it came to songs that I knew was from my culture. But it was interesting to me because I didn't realize that all the way across the world that we were being sampled and all of this stuff. But all the excitement I originally had died down because I I started to realize that my students thought that they're that these artists were the original creators of the song and again when I would try to explain to them like oh yeah it's cute but you know this is original this is where it came from or whatever they really weren't trying to hear that and aside from just music like I had a student ask me one time if I was familiar with the Korean expression YOLO YOLO like you only live once yellow like uh, that's a korean expression and i bring that up just to show you like the extent of how certain things just become so normalized that they kind of believe that it's their own and while i know that there's quite a few things in america that we think that is our own because we've been doing it for so long but it's really not even on the same level as what happens here in korea and when the video first opened and the music started playing and the song started, I immediately just gave an eye roll and a sigh like, here we go again. Are they going to think that they created this too? Luckily, this time around, I am not teaching in a classroom. I'm teaching online. So I don't have to deal with students running up to me telling me about this new song and this new dance and everything. Because I don't know if I can handle it this time around. The point of why I dislike this video was we as black people already have an issue with culture preservation like that is a known fact we cannot hold on to anything this is in all aspects this is in when it comes to our music when it comes to our history when it comes to our style whether it be the way we dress walk or our hair and you know i've been thinking about this for a while now before i posted this video and I thought about how differently I would feel if perhaps DJ Webstar and Bianca Bonnie were in the video itself. At the same time though, I understand that my feelings come from an emotional tie and a protectiveness that I have of my culture, which is not wrong. No one else has an issue when it comes to protecting their culture and them being right for feeling that way. So I don't feel like I'm wrong for wanting to protect and preserve my culture. So my third reason on why I dislike the video had more to do with the K-pop fans. I saw a few reaction videos and I went through quite a few comments and quite a few people were like, this is a great hip hop video. Really though? This is real hip hop, really though? I don't know, that just, it just did not sit right with me. And to be honest, it had me really confused with these black K-pop fans, like real hip hop. Like what does your top 10 greatest rap artists of all time look like? Like what does that look like? Like I'm curious, I'm nervous, but I'm curious at the same time. Kind of just goes back to what I was saying before when I expressed that I feel like most of our culture is kind of really slowly just being erased. The more people get their hands on certain aspects of us and remake it and do their own thing. A part of me feels like there's really no limit to like what's going on now. Like what's gonna be next? Is Are they gonna take electric slide? <laughs> anyway, that's my take. What do you feel about this whole thing? I'm curious to know what other people think. Like if you love the song, we know. Like there's tons of you, like we know. I'm curious about everyone else. Like what does everyone else think? Are there any other people who have like honest, like genuine opinions that don't stem from being a K-pop lover. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.